When a narcissist gives you a gift, this is what they really expect from you. In today's video, we're going to learn and understand why narcissists give you gifts and what to do with any remaining things that you still have from a narcissist. For those of you who have arrived today, please accept my warmest welcome. Without your help, my channel wouldn't exist. Thank you very much. It would be great if you could also join this channel and enable the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new videos that are posted here. Thank you very much. Now, let's begin. Narcissists, in my opinion, are fragile people who intentionally seek to do harm to others. They are so dependent that they constantly search for attention and validation from others. Despite the fact that they have nothing to contribute, they maintain their superiority and attitude. Even though they can't offer you anything, they nonetheless manage to steal the spotlight. Narcissists are comparable to a gift box that you would prefer not to receive. They have nice packaging on the outside. However, the package itself is just filled with dirt and stones. Getting rid of things that remind you or are linked to a narcissist is essential when you decide to move on from them. Also, this isn't limited to a romantic relationship with a narcissist. I'm referring to all narcissistic connections, such as friendships, family ties, and professional relationships. It's likely that even after you've separated yourself from the narcissist physically or emotionally, there's more that needs to go because any attachment essentially can bring you back to them. So, what can I say? I'm not talking about those things they intentionally left in or around your possession or space. I'm referring to any gifts you may have received from them. You'll have to get rid of these gifts for this or that reason, but you may not need to for others. As we already know, there are two types of narcissists, overt and covert. Let's look over a little at the differences between the two. If your parent is a covert narcissist, they will likely never give you any gifts, or very rarely, you could say. They believe they owe you nothing more than bringing you into the world and providing you with a place to sleep. On the other hand, instead of being stingy with gifts, the overt narcissistic parent would have been more generous because that's how they usually make other people happy. Covert and overt narcissists differ from each other only in how they give gifts. Because covert narcissists are tightwads, you can count on them to shower you with facilities that are either cheap or snatched from someone else. At the same time, those who are overt narcissists are more likely to give extravagant gifts. Another characteristic of covert narcissists is their willingness to defraud you outright if necessary. Charm is a common tactic used by covert narcissists to win over others. A narcissist will give a gift to win someone over and solidify their place in their life and heart. Nothing the narcissist does is motivated by altruism or concern for others. When they get something away, they expect to get something in return. You'll be encouraged to loosen your rules in exchange for accepting the gifts. Be extra careful not to upset them or even consider throwing them away. The purpose of these gifts is to make you feel good, reminding you how wonderful and caring your narcissist is. Narcissists are always looking for new ways to assert their dominance, and this is one of them. They don't give gifts to show how much they care or value you. Although they make it look like that, they never have the intention. Instead, they only give gifts to be used as a sleight of hand to manipulate you and anyone else who happens to be watching. It all depends on where you're in your healing journey, whether you have to discard those remaining gifts from narcissists or you want to keep them for decorations. If it's making you second-guess your decision to get rid of and move on from the narcissist, then it's time to get rid of these gifts. There's no benefit in keeping them anyway. A present from the narcissist can work as a catalyst for you to get trapped deeper in melancholy feelings, depression, and a sense of loss. Again, you must forfeit that gift in this scenario. Anything that hinders your recovery from the narcissist should be eliminated from your life. Give it to a charity shop, sell, or burn it if that's what you prefer. In another case, for some people, the gifts are just a discreet reminder of the narcissist and a testament to your resolve not to let their generosity blind you to their true nature. So, if you received a physical gift from the narcissist and it makes you feel bad, you should consider giving it to someone you trust or removing it from your possessions until you no longer think it will. Only those who are okay receiving gifts from narcissists and keeping them without affecting their emotions may keep the gifts. Because I'm well aware that some narcissists can be tenacious when providing gifts or favors to those they want to manipulate. 
They will not hesitate to throw in just anything to make you trust them with whatever it is that they're building. If you're well aware that you're not going to be swayed by any gifts, then the narcissist will be the ones being tricked because we are aware of their intentions. But still, if the narcissist gave us anything or if we have any of their possessions, it's essential to consider thoroughly whether or not these things are preventing you from getting rid of the narcissist once and for all. The point is, if you still have anything that's holding you back from moving on completely, then you shouldn't hesitate to get rid of it. You deserve a new and better life, no lingering feelings or anything, not even resentment against the narcissist. For anyone who has already done so or plans to deal with a narcissist, I'd like to know how you did it. As always, I'd like to thank you for your time and attention. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Feel free to ask any questions or make any comments in the space provided below. And for future videos, please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell button below. Thank you so much for your time.